Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Tales of Majael with the Ghoul Demonologist. Alright, we're getting ready to go to the Orc Ambush. I just need to spend my points real quick. Uh, I really don't want to put points into willpower, but... What do we need? We need about nine more willpower. I guess we can hold off on that. Let's go... I need a little bit more dexterity just for accuracy. It's, it's one point of accuracy per dexterity, which sucks. But we'll see how it goes. We could also go uh, Flex as well, but I, I don't want to use Flex. I want to use uh, Meteoric Crash just to get an increase in my fire damage. And then I don't have to build for fire damage. But we've been over that. All right, what do we need here? I need... I guess I could get Ghoul Leap up further. That way I can use it twice as, twice as many times. Or the cooldown is twice as fast. Or I should probably go Vim. Because um, when I start running out of Vim, like there's not much I can do about it. So having a bigger buffer is probably a good idea. Uh, let's go ahead and get Flame of Rock. We're going to go 5 out of 5 on that. To get rid of our Ghoul Malice. Our Ghoul Global Speed Malice. Let's check our stuff. Alright. Let's go over these real quick. Do some incoming crit damage. I'll probably use that in the end game. But not yet. Corrupt Light, Corrosive Cone, no, 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 no. Armored Leviathan, maybe later, and then Doom Fire. I would use Doom Fire, but we have too much stuff to cast. It's either Doom Fire or Acidic Bath, one or the other. So I can't use them both because it's just like I, I have to sit here for three turns. Uh, turn this on. That doesn't take a turn, but this takes a turn. This takes a turn, this takes a turn, and then another takes a turn. Our Doomfire would take a turn. It's just, it's too much time spending up, spending buffing myself. I can do it around corners and everything, but it's just not something I, I think we're, we're already on the high end of activatable skills, if that makes any sense. Um, are we ready to go? Let's get rid of this. We don't need it anymore. Worm Breath, don't need it anymore. Eight will. This is only five will, but this has vim on it too. But it's it's just not it's not amazing. Let me see what we get here. He gets some vim one hit, vim draining blight. Okay, that's okay. Not great. Forty life, twenty five vim, three spell crit, and vim sense. Yeah, it's just not very good. Um, this is pretty good, but we've we've already got maxed out. Uh, stun resistance. Well, pretty much not, uh, maxed out. All right, I don't think there's anything that we can do here. I think we've got everything we need to. Actually, you know what? That's what we can do. Now, you know what? I was going to say we can do uh, the books, but I'll do those in between. You guys don't need to see me do that every time. Because it doesn't matter what class I am. They're always the same. <laughs> Storm taint. All right, a mysterious staff. Okay, so Osmosis Shield, Rain of Fire. What I actually wanna do is hop over here first, then put my healing on. Ow. Let's yank uh, you into the Fearscape while we heal. Don't need to be in here very long. Okay, we're already healed. So let's get out of here. Put our other healing item on. Do I want to put my other healing item on or blink away? Let's blink away. No, because we're still going to be right next to that guy. Let's just use the healing. Blow everybody up. Let's stun the main threat here. We got counter strike. I need to get rid of it. Otherwise, he could possibly one shot me. Flash block. Stun him. All right. Now he's got the counter strike debuff. He's not very dead. I need to get rid of the archers. It's this guy you can run away from. It's hard to run away from the archers. Alright, turn on our two healing items. Two healing spells. Flash block. And just keep attacking him. 
and he heals very quickly with recovery on. But it's gone now. We should be okay. Our osmosis should be able to keep us up while we bump. There we go. Easy peasy. Edema. We've got decent resistances, but that's it, really. Seven strength, seven constitution in life. So we'd be replacing this. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's as good. Uh, I mean, yeah, it is. It is better, because it's got the resistances. It's more important than plus life at this point, because we've got enough life to really make use of our resistances. I don't know at what point resistances and life actually switch importance, but it's sometime within the tier twos. Oh, god dang it. I completely forgot about this. Oh, well, we were going now anyway. All right, you hear an eerie chanting echoing in the distance. Let's rest here. I don't know if anybody saw me. Let me look here, did I see anything? Did they see me? I don't think they did. Okay, so here's what we'll do. Let's start digging. A very long zigzag, just in case. And we're gonna try to get them in here one at a time. What is my blight resistance? 33%, that's okay. Lightning, that's good, 51%, and darkness is 70%. So we should have a fairly decent chance in here. The blight is a little low. Is there anything I can do about that, I wonder? No, I did not mean to do that. All right, come up here. Actually, you know what? Let's do it like this. That way he can't just cast from here up into this corner with an AoE and hit me. All right. Let's get rid of everything. Then assault him. Nice. Killed him in one shot. Demon Seed. Are you shitting me? God dang it. What did he do? Oh, he assaulted me. Okay. I had 700-ish hit points. That's not cool. Let's rest. Well, that's not good. That's... We're going to die here again. I freaking know it. Thank you, I will rest for a while. Stupid thing. Get out of here. Get rid of the Counter-Strike. And he was so easy to kill too. I knew he was gonna be easy to kill too. He just got a good assault on me at the wrong time. I wasn't topped off and I didn't have a shield. I wasn't below half-life either though, so. Level 38. We're not too far below these guys. All right, let's hop up here. Then do another hop, and then sit here and wait. Let's rest. Let's get around the corner so they can't hit me catty cornered. Were they just digging? One of them was digging, I know they were. All right, let's hop. Come down here. All right, turn that on, flash block, and assault. Get rid of the Counter-Strike. Somebody's got osmosis regeneration on. It's him. We need to get rid of it, but at the same time, I, I don't want this guy to hit me. Shield and turn on our healing. Turn on our healing. Salt this guy again since he's not invisible anymore and we can actually hit him. All right, turn everything off. This guy we can kill, we just need to... Oh wait, no, this is the exact guy that killed us last time. <laughs> so maybe we can't. The Calm. Demon Seed. Alright. You know what, let's open the chest, why not? Bone Shield and Striking Stance, so let's... Uh, he's going to be difficult to kill, because remember, Brawlers are... They're very good against people who do a bunch of small amounts of damage. Come on. There you go. So let's perfect strike and just use our big hits on him. And we got him. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Well, at least we're able to kill them fairly quickly. And they teleported us. Awesome. And I can't get away because I'm silenced. Awesome. 
All right, so what we can do is blindside this guy and die, of course. Well, that sucks. It was doable, though. We just... Okay, next time we go in there, we definitely want to put the Oni Lug on or the Far Hand to stop them from teleporting me. Because they're all going to have Doom Portal. Or all the Corruptors are going to have Doom Portal, which means they're going to be able to use it over and over again. Which means even if I have the right amount of teleports, even if I didn't get Silence, they can just do it to me over and over again. But they do have Silence, so... Come on, think here. What could I possibly use that would make me strong enough to, to take care of these guys? Yeek, I don't think is a viable choice. Ogre would make my inscription stronger, sure. You know what? I think I'm going to go Ogre. And I may try Staff this time. This is number five, not number three. Or not number four. Demonologist. Because we don't have too many. Demon's Blade is a proc hit, but... We, I wonder if the Imp Flame Bolts count as projectiles or not. If they count as procs and they get halved, then... I mean, that's not a big deal. We can just switch to something else. Alright, Ogre Demonologist. Let's do this. Well, you get to see how we go through the early game, at least. Um, my new way. We want magic. Basically, you go all magic. And dark fire. <clears throat> now that I think about this, we probably want to do... Nah, screw it. We're good. We're good this way. There we go. They must have fought each other or something. Because I remember three of them were following me, weren't they? Well, this will also give us a chance to demon seed the planar controller. I'm going to go heavy into... Basically, you turn into a caster early on until about level 15, and then you start transitioning into eh, 15 to 18. But basically, that means you don't... Um, that dark fire has a huge AoE, and it actually hits decently hard. Um, the reason why it's not really end game material without getting pretty lucky on equipment is because it does darkness and fire damage. And the problem there is you either go physical or fire damage. You don't raise darkness damage. All of your darkness damage abilities are really just seem to be there as little ticks to proc, uh, what's it called? Uh, Doom Covenant or whatever it's called. The, the locked tree that we did the first time with the damage affinity. Damage affinity wouldn't have saved me there either, by the way. Not being able to be teleported would, though. <laughs> I make one one or two episodes and then rerun the whole guy every day until we beat this stupid uh, demonologist. I've won with them before, but I've never beaten Dark Crypt before with one. Man, that guy was perfectly suited for it, too. I did plenty of damage. And I could take them one on one, but what I should have done is ignored them and went for the stairs. But, like I said, it was so easy to kill them, I figured I could clear it. We need to get to level 4 for Dark Fire before we take the final boss. I don't. 
I don't actually know who's got worse uh, experience penalty. Doom Elves or Ogres? Ogres got a pretty steep one, for what I remember. God dang it. Thank you, but I'm weary of this life. Let me go. Restart with the same character. Cat. I think I drug him into his own flame bolt. Missed. I wonder if there's a way you could play this guy as a caster endgame. Like, focus on Fearscape, uh, Reign of Fire, and Doom Fire. Or Demon. Dark Fire, not Demon Fire. towards me and kill him. Alright, so in this situation, I'll look up when you actually get taken back to the Searing Halls. It's, it's either 15 or 18, it's gotta be. So I'll just stop using my Rod of Recall at that point. But what that also means is we won't be able to do, to do Urkus because we won't be able to leave until we're ready to do the Searing Halls, basically. Dang it. What that actually means is there's no way we can do the Searing Halls with a Dissipation Rune. That really sucks. Good? No, not yet. Okay. Well, we still got one more. Come closer, please. Oh my god, there's so many extras. <laughs> okay. Mage Staff Power, no. We will use that eventually, but right now I need to Demon Seed. Okay, come here. You, come here. Let's go ahead and put another point into Flame Leash and you into that. More points into Magic. We will eventually get strength, but uh, we lean on magic pretty hard early on, obviously. Is that to the next level or the previous level? We need to find the... Uh, portal and you go through the portal as soon as possible preferably before you get to level three that way you lock actually you know what that won't lock the final boss unless we find the portal to him first so you got to find the portal break the crystal and then come back and level up if you want to level lock so it's probably not the most viable thing because like right now we still haven't found the portal even there and then you have to find the boss crystal So 
hoping to get there before level three. Oh well. There it is. Got it. Well, we can at least get him spawned before level four. That is, if we're even going to get to level four, because we're an ogre, we might not. Uh, another point to Flame Leash, another point to Wolf of Tormentor. At least for now, we can take points out to put it elsewhere if we really want to. Okay. Blue Crystal. Nope, no Blue Crystal. These guys should all be level three, right? Well, they're level four. I wonder what they are normally. It's, it's almost always in one of these rooms, so there's no point in scouring the uh, hallways. Trying to dodge their fireballs as much as I can. All right, he yanked me. I shielded with uh, Shatter Afflictions rune. Let's move back so we can shield again before we fight him. No, we've got nothing. We need to go back and rest. It'd be stupid to fight him. Out of stamina and very low life. Rest a while. I'm not too upset about the ghoul. I knew he was going to die. I just figured we could get through that at least. Um, the problem was... Uh, I had too many on on effects or usable effects like the acidic bath and wretch and stuff like that and it's not even that they were pretty necessary too to keep me alive while I was fighting so it's I it was hard to get away from those okay just checking here nope nope come on let's rest. It's funny, with Corrosive Slash, you can almost make an acid build out of this, even though he really doesn't have any acid skills. The only acid skills he has are from his demon seeds. You can go Acid Burst, Corrosive Slash, corrosive slash Acidic Bath, Acera, or something else that does acid damage. Or no, you don't even need that because of Corrosive Slashes. Still nothing. All right, let's shield, smack him, get out of here, because we are very low on life. Shoot. We're going this way, because I can't, that guy didn't see us yet, or he's taking a sweet time to get to us. There we go. Rest. Start checking these ones. All right, get rid of that daze. <laughs> he hit his he hit his friend with the firebolt. Is as, as friendly as dem demons can be. Maybe they don't have friends. There it is. Okay. And it's in a room full of demons. Shield while Osmosis Shield heals us back. Oh, there was two of them. Rush at him. We're out of Vim. Or no, we're not. We're, we're out of uh, Stamina, not Vim. Okay, so let's do this. Make everything easy to get to. Of course, he's going to do that. I knew that. I didn't think he'd do it twice, but whatever. All right, he's some kind of uh, of archer, so it should we should be able to beat him. Cause look, we can just walk away from him, 
and his arrows will always miss. Dexterity and balanced iron mace gives us extra accuracy and we need that right now. Okay. They're still not level four. Um, we're very close though. Let's go around. I know he's right up there, so we can go around and kill everybody else. But I, I really don't think we're gonna be able to get to level four with this guy. Unless this room has like a ton of demons in it. Stop doing that. Nope. Okay, so. Yeah, we would need about 10 more demons. That's not gonna happen. Well, let's uh, let's go fight him uh, without dark fire. Turn on bleak outcome. Probably be the smart thing to do. Wait, did did we ever clear this? Yeah, we did. Definitely cleared that one. Well, at least he's hopefully. Nope, he's still level 10. That that's fair. <laughs> level 3 versus level 10 demon. Alright. We need to get him to use both of his jumps. And then uh, get him to come out here. You know what? That's dumb. What we need to do is shield when he uses his two jumps. Because we can't heal, so we need to pre-heal. Okay, there's one. Two. Two. Just teleport out of here, come around the corner, hurry up please. Are you shitting me? There's no way it's that quick. Alright, he's on fire, he's got slow movement. Well, he's not on fire, but he's taking damage from the fire. We're going to shield. Alright, uh, let's flame leash him again. We need to get out of that because he's healing every turn from it. Where did he go? He's right there. All right. We have to turn off that. Can't keep it on any longer. God dang it. We can't kill this guy. Fuck. We start with the same character. Well, I'm guessing, let's see, let's not spawn him early and see if he still spawns at level 10. He might still spawn at level 10, in which case we want the demons to be at a higher level when we go over there. That way they give slightly more experience. <clears throat> Whoops, missed. Of course I did. Shield. You know what, let's just attack him while my shield, while my shield is up. There we go. Nope, he can't shoot at us, so we're okay. on bleak outcome don't really need it right now but whatever level up flame leash
Okay, you come with me. Is that everybody? No. Probably gonna go dexterity because I, I'm not gonna have enough vim to take him out. So I think maybe we should just plan on having to hit him. Which kinda sucks, so let's go dexterity and this. Uh, weapons mastery and combat accuracy. So that's the only thing that we really can do. Let's kill him faster. Iron plate armor, sure we'll take it. Movement speed infusion, sure we'll take it. Use movement infusion, yes, please. That is a good find. If anybody ever played uh, like Baldur's Gate, stuff like that, you start with like six hit points. That's kind of how I feel right now. <laughs> and everything is an end keg. <laughs> end kegs are uh, worms that come out of the ground that hit like for 42. And uh, you can fight them like right in the beginning. But uh, they're really good experience. If, uh, if you can actually kill one, you can pretty much get a level after killing two of them. Okay, what do we got here? Let's go one more in flame leash just for a little bit more fire damage. And... I'm not going to have enough for this unless I get another level, but I need the dexterity, so or I need the accuracy. Leveled up before we went into the new place, which is good. Means the demons were level 4 before, so they should be level 5 now, right? We'll have to see. Okay. Well, at least they're easy to kill with weapons mastery. Next level, right? Or do I want to touch this? Let's touch this. Uh, confused me for six turns. Belt of Transcendence doesn't really do anything for me, but we'll take it anyway. All right, they were level four, and they're level three now. Okay, so obviously there's a range that they spawn in, and... Doesn't really matter if you come here early or not. There we go. There's a level five one. Now the question is, do I leave a couple of them alive? Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Do I leave a couple of them alive in case I need to uh, get some Vim back? Inspect him. What's he got? Escape shift. Awesome. He has nothing except for command staff. Good. Balanced iron longsword. Perfect. It gives me extra accuracy. And you, why can't I wear you? I think it's because I need a, yeah, I need an extra point in that. So, and that takes 26 strength, which I wouldn't get to unless I went all strength. Problem here is he's right next to the stupid thing. But now he's not. Or he can't see me, whatever. That's what we should do. Let's get a demon train going on. Oh, damn it. <laughs> that thing can. Alright. Even if it doesn't crit, Soul Rot will kill me right now. So we need to shield and then run. All right. The only problem is he can teleport. So it would be very difficult to actually finagle it to have him be behind a train. So let's just see how close we can get to level four. And if we can't, then I'll bring one or two enemies with me to fight him. Let's 
Sounded like he was right out there. Thought I saw a fire. Nope. 72%. We're going to be close. A lot closer than last time. Well, not necessarily. I think we were, what, 90% last time? Level six gives me 2%, looks like. So we need four more, five more. Yeah, we did it, level five, four. All right, so well, we almost just died too. All right, level four. Take one, two, three points out of this, one, two, uh, we need, what, 20, 22 magic, one, two, three. I can put one into Demon's Blade, and I can I get you? One into Dark Fire. That should be enough to get us over the hump. I'll go one into Accuracy. No, no, nah. yeah, that should be more than enough to take him out. Rest a while. Where is he? There you are. I don't want to use anything on him yet because he's going to teleport. All right. Use everything. Smash him. He's stunned right now. So what do we do while he's stunned? Let's just, uh, well, let's just blow everything on him. Uh, I use Flame Leash to get him, there should be fire underneath him right now. So extra damage. Should have been bumping him every turn while Demon's Blade was on. Um, all right, now he is no longer stunned, so let's stun him again. Stunned. He teleported, but I think we can actually bring him down. Is he demon seated? Yes, he is. Okay, good. Coral Spray. Perfect find for a demonologist. Potent mage, elms, elm mage staff of illumination. Illumination's actually not that bad, uh, but it's the one we have has, wait, no, that was the last run. So we can go ahead and take it. Gloves of dexterity, linen robes, no. Great sword of phasing, no. All right, the Oni Lung is still in here, but we're not even gonna try to kill him. That would be stupid because he could probably crit for around 220 damage. And that's more than we have. I mean, we'd be able to survive it with shield, but then he can just drain us right after that, which still does decent damage. It's just not as likely to crit. All right, Tormeyer 2. No, let's just get out of here for now. Four magic. Let's get one out of that and put another one in there. Go four into strength. We do need to get heavy armor training still. Um, problem here is we won't use that. We aren't going to really use this yet. Otherwise, I would get it. I know it seems strange, but it does make the beginning game just go a lot faster to ignore bind demon and demon seed okay so this is how we do it put you over here oh come on tell me I can't hit them all there we go and he moved awesome
We are poisoned. I need to get rid of that because it's too much damage right now. Is that how we want it? Yes. Okay. Jesus, this place is like all rares. I really need Chorus Fall to go along with this. Chorus Fall is a staff that gives you Bone Spear. It's just, it's really nice in the beginning. Cause it does decent damage. Alright, we've got some sort of solipsist, so we're going to want to stay in his dead zone where I can hit him and he can't mind seer me. Is that it? Let's get uh, rid of that, then run up, and demon seed, got him. Demon seed, smash him. Get unstunned or whatever it is we were. Oh, he silenced us. This guy's got recovery and he's silencing me. So let's uh, just uh, beat on him for a second. And that works. Demon's Blade and a multi-hit attacks do a lot of damage right now. Of course it'll fall off, but still. Actually, this is only once per turn, right? Yeah, okay. So multi-hit doesn't actually matter. I think it should be multi-hit, but that's okay. It's decent armor. Can't use it yet. Here we go. That's how he was silencing us. He had a Mind Blast Torque. Wand of Shielding. No thank you. These are great malls, so I don't need those. Got him. Get out of the ice and pound him in the ground. All right, what we want to do here is another point into dark fire and keep putting points into strength. Uh, where do we want to put this point is the question. All right, let's put it into com our weapons mastery for now. Yep, stop that. This one's better because it's got actual stats on it. Um, crap, this one's actually just a tiny bit better too. Blaze Spiker, the one we have is better than that. Stone Troll. Oh, we got a Skirmisher or Slingshotter. Got 
got, what are you? Oh great, a Mind Slayer. Hopefully he can't kill me. Trollmire, the land of frickin' rares, man. Is it normally this rare <laughs> when you don't start out here? I guess I guess I wouldn't know because I almost always start here. All right, uh, we're probably getting to a point where we can. Stop the video, but I wanted to show you guys as much as possible of the early game with this kind of, not really a caster build, but kind of. Yes, Chorus Fall, this is exactly what I wanted. So what I do is in the offset, put on Chorus Fall, and then if I see something I want to Demon Seed, or if I Demon Seed something easy every once in a while, I'll switch over. This has got confusion immunity, immunity, good. Uh, I guess I could go, nah. Our shielding rune's just as good as that, so we'll just leave it like that for now. Switch, no, nope, we've got a better shield than that. That's better. 30 life versus what, healing mod and some resistances? I think 30 life's better, for now. Accuracy 10, good. Shadowbringer 20, what is that? Five armor and 20 life is better than four magic. So now we just one and two as much as possible. Should really actually Switch those around. Dark fire, then bone spear. All right, let's turn on um, Demon's Blade. Just uh, We'll use, we'll get rid of the days and then uh, start smashing him. He's got negative 200 and some life. So what we're gonna do is go around the corner. There we go. Planar beacon, awesome. We want this now. So we can turn that on. Um, one accuracy, one grizzly constitution. What else do we want down here? What makes sense? Uh, one more point to dark fire, yep. Uh, what we can do is actually float these four points, but uh, honestly, I think maybe we'll just keep them in there for most of the game. Maybe we'll turn it off, I don't know yet. Let's go one out of accuracy and put it into heavy armor training. That way we can put on our bigger stuff. Oops. All right, we don't have an offhand, so let's take that off and put it on this one. Planar Beacon, definitely, especially now that we are considered a demon. Where are you? Yes. Mark for restart all of these, please. We good? Yep, we're good. And we still have 102 Vim, which is more than enough to play caster for a little while. Holy shit. 
shit, man, it's cold down here. I don't have a coat on. All right, healing rune. Nope, ours are all better. All right, let's just do that, and uh, dark fire, you should kill you. Uh, wait till he stuns you to use your clear. Then uh, put on Demon's Blade and poke him. What you can actually do is, I think, if you cast the spear, let's see if it hits both of them. Yep, even though he wasn't there yet, it is actually traveling that bone spear. So he immediately dies and he immediately spawns. Then the bone spear, spear starts traveling again. Yes, I hear you. Sorry, that was my cat. We go ask someone else. Go ask someone else. All right. Uh, where do we want to go from here? Let's uh, do more in Grizzly Constitution. Yeah. One more in Accuracy. We don't have anything else to use yet. Hopefully, we'll find the Tinker earlier rather than later. Um, I would like to actually go Tinker at ten. Honestly, um, it's hard to get in there at level ten, but I think as a caster we could do it. Because at level 20, I still want to do, uh, I still want to do, uh, Reign of Fire, I think. Because I do like that. It's just kind of hard to see <laughs> when you, when it's going off. Although, I wonder if with Dark Fire, I think we can only get one stack per turn with Dark Rain. So, it'd be a lot easier to proc it all at once with Dark Fire. Like, basically immediately get 40% uh, damage affinity for everything. All right, let's move back one and silence him. All right, didn't work. Drag him towards us and punch him. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. Are you temporal fugued? No. Even though there is a paradox mage here, they're not temporal fugued. Oops, wrong spell. Thought that was dark fire. Let's get rid of one of the diseases. And then uh, we'll go in. Silence them, why not? All right, let's silence him so he can't keep hitting me. It doesn't matter. Because it didn't work. Step one back, uh, step one back, step another back, and hit right beside me. All right, what do we got here? Brand spiker, no. Disengage, uh, yeah, for now. Got the Sun Paladin. I thought it was a Tinker for a second. All right. To not hit the Sun Paladin. And I think we did anyway. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Let's get Chant of uh, Fortitude. More health. Well, that didn't work. He completely healed all the damage that I did to him. There we go. Eel skin armor. That's fun in the beginning if you're a nature user because uh, procs lightning when you hit. I think it's only 10% chance though. Wonder. 
I wonder what a staff demonologist would look like. I'm guessing you'd do short staff and shield, right? And then maybe demon's blade would make up for your bump attacks, like the the amount you do less with physical damage. Holy cow. Um, most likely nobody's going to have teleport it this early in the game. So we can blow them up. Then uh, what I'm going to do is teleport over here, I think is the right move. And then hopefully I don't get an inner demon spawn. And then get rid of it. Yes, that was that worked. Come use uh, wraith form to get through the walls. It's a good thing we're a caster because there's no way I'd be able to kill this room without it. Probably still shouldn't uh, fight it, but whatever. Get rid of uh, all of that. We do have our demon thing on, so. I don't want to kill myself with Fearscape Shift if I didn't have it on. There's one down. And he's all the way back up to 100%. So, um, you know what? Let's run away. That's what these boots are for. Shield and jump. Oh man, but he's so close to death. Whatever, I can kill him easy anyway. Uh, let's go down, and then we'll come back right back up. Boots, Spark Dash, Glon. No, I think, yeah, we've got pretty good stuff so far. Um, actually, you know what? I'd rather have the Gale Force. Torque, even though it doesn't have any stats on it. it does more damage, and it's AoE, and uh, it keeps him away from me while I cast at him. But that's where we're going to leave it off for now. Um... We are at basically an hour, so uh, I'll get this guy back up to the Dark Crypt and hopefully ready for the Dark Crypt, but uh, I guess we'll find out. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.